91. You are recently acquired an Azure subscription and are planning to deploy 25 virtual machines. To ensure maximum security, you need to provide guidance on how to configure these virtual machines in accordance with the Microsoft Cloud Security Benchmark. The guidance should include recommendations on identity, management, network security, and privileged access controls. What aspects should be included in your guidance? Let's look at the options available and see if you can find the correct answer. The correct answer is Azure Security Baseline. Um, I have explained what is Azure Security Baseline in detail on question number 55. You can go through that for detailed explanation. Azure Security Baselines provide guidance for MCSB version 1.0 to virtual machines. The MCSB provides recommendations on how to secure your cloud solution in Azure. The content is grounded by the security controls defined by the MCSB and the related guidance applicable to virtual machines. Let's look at question number 92. You are tasked with developing an IoT solution for an Azure environment. Your design must include features such as passwordless or multi-factor authentication and a process for identifying and addressing device vulnerabilities. Which two guiding principles of the Microsoft Azure Well-Architected Framework security architecture for IoT does the design address? Look at the options available. The correct answers are strong identity and device health. So how does strong identity help? Strong identity focuses on verifying the identity of devices and users using methods like passwordless authentication or multi-factor authentication. This principle helps prevent unauthorized access and ensures that only trusted entities can interact with your IoT systems. For instance, an employee accessing a smart building control system might use MFA to ensure that they are authorized to make changes to the building's environment settings. How does device health help? So device health is about ensuring that IoT and embedded devices are functioning correctly and securely. This principle involves regularly checking devices for vulnerabilities, updating software, and maintaining an ongoing risk profile. For example, a smart thermostat might be checked for firmware update to protect against potential security threats, ensuring it operates efficiently and safely. Question number 93. Imagine you have an Azure subscription and are using Microsoft Purview for your data governance needs. You are required to recommend a feature within Microsoft Purview that can help organize data into logical categories. Which feature would you suggest? Let's look at the available options first. See if you can find the right answer. The correct answer is data map classification. So what is this data map classification in Microsoft Purview? Data map classification is a method for organizing and categorizing data assets. It involves assigning unique logical tags or classes to data assets, making them easier to understand, search and govern. By classifying data, you can manage it better by knowing what information you have, where it is located and the level of sensitivity or risk associated with it. Question 94. Imagine you have an Azure subscription and are tasked with developing a strategy for identity and access management. Your goal is to create a system that dynamically adjusts access controls based on various factors such as user risk levels, real-time conditions, device health, and location. Which method should you implement in your design? These are the options available. What is the right answer? The correct answer is conditional access. We looked into conditional access in detail on question number 86. Please refer that for further details. A short answer is conditional access in Azure allows organizations to set policies that dynamically adapt access control 
based on user risk levels and real time conditions including device health and location question number 95 imagine you are managing microsoft 365 e5 subscription for your organization and utilizing microsoft purview your goal is to monitor and improve compliance with the iso 27017 standard for information security controls what solution would you recommend to track progress in meeting these standards and enhancing compliance let's look at the options available the correct answer is compliance manager what is compliance manager microsoft purview compliance manager is a tool designed to help organizations manage their compliance with various regulations standards and policies it awards points for completing improvement actions which are then combined into an overall compliance score this score helps prioritize actions based on their potential impact on compliance posture question number 96 you manage a multi subscription azure environment and are planning a deployment for existing cloud infrastructure in line with the microsoft cloud adoption framework how would you ensure secure authentication for access to cloud apps and azure resources in this setup let's look at the options available the correct answer is microsoft entra id conditional access so we looked a, like i said we looked into the conditional access in detail on question number 86 you can go through that Uh, conditional access is part of the azure landing zone design area for securing authentication of existing brownfield cloud environments to cloud apps and azure resources let's look at question number 97 you have an azure subscription and you want to publish a custom application for vendors and customers your goal is to find a security solution that supports multiple tenants and hybrid environments offers customized sign in experiences and allows customers to sign up their own what should you include in the solution let's look at the options the correct answer is microsoft entra external id so what is this microsoft entra external id microsoft en Entra external id is a solution designed to help organizations manage and secure identities for customers partners and other external users it enables businesses to create customized sign in experiences and allows users to self register offering a seamless and secure way to interact with public facing applications question number 98 Imagine you have an Azure subscription and are tasked with designing a resiliency strategy to counter ransomware attacks. Your solution needs to incorporate Azure Backup to support your strategy. You need to suggest an Azure Backup feature that ensures multiple user authentication for critical backup and recovery operations. What feature should you recommend? Look at the options available. the right answer is resource guard so what is resource guard resource guard is a security feature in azure designed to provide an extra layer of protection for critical operations on recovery services vaults and backup vaults it ensures that sensitive actions such as deleting backups or changing configurations are performed only with the appropriate authorization This helps prevent unauthorized access and potential malicious activities. Let's look at question number 99. You are the cloud administrator of a company that is using both Microsoft 365 and Azure in its cloud deployment. You are tasked with implementing Microsoft Defender for Cloud, focusing on the following features. The features are Microsoft Secure Score, Attack Path Analysis, Multi-Cloud Coverage, Microsoft Entra Permissions Management and Cloud Security Posture Management or CSPM which two features require a paid Microsoft Defender plan and select all that apply let's look at the options available and the right answers are attack path analysis and Microsoft Entra Permission Management so we've gone through the details of this in question number 
13, where you can learn about what is Microsoft Defender for Cloud and what are the options and benefits it offers and things like that. Let's look at question number 100. Your organization utilizes both Microsoft 365 and Azure in its cloud infrastructure and you have been tasked with recommending a compliant solution that satisfies the following criteria. The criteria are delivers an overall compliance score based on completed recommended actions, oversees information protection including sensitivity labels and data loss prevention. Which solution would you propose? Let's look into the options available. The correct answer is Microsoft Purview. We looked into Microsoft Purview in detail on question number 11. Microsoft Purview is a data classification solution that helps organization manage and oversee their data assets. So I hope the information provided in this video helps you clear the exam or study security in general. I will see you on the next one. Take care.